Hello, hiya. Thanks for finding your way here to this video right now to come and learn some English. Good intention. So let's make sure we concentrate. I sound like such a teacher, don't I? Concentrate, yep. And really learn. Take the vocab because we want you to be using it this next week. What are we doing? We're looking at phrasal verbs to do with success and a couple to do with failure. Now, these can be used in all sorts of contexts. So they're very useful to know because, well, I'll be showing you how to use them to talk about fashion, um, in sports and with academic studies. But you could, there's so many different things that you could use them to talk about. Um, to start with, we're just going to look at what they actually mean before we really apply um, the verbs. My first section all have off in them. So to bring, yeah, it's like a physical action. Bring it over here. Bring me the remote control. Bring me the jug of water. If you bring something off, yeah, it's like, off is a place where everything works, yeah? It's looking like it's not going to be very good, and then we get it up here and abracadabra. To bring something off, yeah, turn it around. To pull something off is exactly the same, but with a different verb, okay? So take your pick, which do you like? Are you more of a, a B or a P? I'm more of a B, uh, my wife's a P. To carry something off. Very slight change here. Um, well, it's a different verb. To carry something off is kind of you're, you're going, you're, it's, it's more of a kind of sense of like continuing. Yep, I carried it off. I was going with it for a long time, yep, carrying a heavy bag, and I got there and yes, I made the destination. I carried it off. Uh, whereas these, it's more like a bit, a bit more of a sudden turnaround. Okay, but it's only a small, small difference. And some people wouldn't say there's a difference at all. Now, to come off, um, we're much more likely to encounter this in the past tense. Yeah, it came off quite well. Um, but very similar meaning, it means like something has, has kind of worked. Yeah, it came, it came out pretty well, came off, came off pretty well. Okay, different meaning here. Something takes off like a rocket going into space. So, it's like the YouTube channel suddenly has millions of subscribers. Well, how does it happen like that? Because guys like you and girls like you press subscribe and you share it with all your friends, right? Hope so. And don't just press subscribe, actually watch the videos. How do you do that? Yep, that bell thing up there. So every time my lessons come up, you guys watch them, yeah! And then that will really, pay off with your English. Yep, you'll see a, you'll see results. Yep, to pay off. Yep, we've got the idea of money. So money is a reward for, for work, for doing something. So if something pays off, then you, you enjoy the reward of your good work. Okay? On, to, through. Are you with me, with me so far? I hope so. Um, through. If I go through the jungle, yep, the jungle's here, and I'm going through it. To fall through. If I, we've got a sort of a ceiling up here, it's not a very strong one. If I fell through the ceiling, then my mum did that once actually, she fell through a hole. Um, in the floor, very painful. To fall through, drop, 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 drop. If something falls through, then it looks like it's going to work, 
but then suddenly it doesn't. So maybe a football player is looking to join a new club, but at, in the 11th hour, the last minute, the deal fell through. It wasn't completed. Muddle. This is more of a British English than an American English word. To muddle through something. Now, muddle means confusion. Okay? So, if you muddle through, this is talking about how you get through the jungle. It's like, I've kind of got a hat. Uh, have I got any insect repellent? Uh, yeah, maybe in my pocket here. Have I got a compass? I'm not quite sure. Uh, 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 confusion, and we kind of get through the rainforest, but you do get through it, or jungle, whatever it is. Okay, so to muddle through means to go through chaotically. Okay? To get through. If you get through something, then you're surviving, but there's not much of a sense of enjoyment or huge amount of success about it. Um, we got through something, yep. It was okay, but we didn't really like it very much. Um, to sail through is quite different though, yep. Think of the boat and the the sails filling with wind, to sail through, there's a feeling of speed and flamboyance. If you sail through something, then you find it quite easy because the sails are full of wind and you're going rather effortlessly. You don't even need a motor. Whereas the kind of vehicle here, I'm thinking of like a, a really slow car. Um, okay. Takeover. Um, a takeover, so where one person takes control from the other person. So we've got, uh, I'm thinking of a football club, if there's a takeover, then someone else suddenly starts um, ruling that football club. Ruling is not a king, a kind of managing. Okay, a takeover, yep. I take over the control catch on. If something catches on, then it's like a, a fashion. So if I start walking down the street and I start this new walk, which is like, it's kind of a sort of a, a flappy arm walk. And I'm starting to see in the streets of Toronto that some people are, are doing my flappy arm walk, then I would say, huh, it's starting to catch on. Okay, really strange example for you there. Hope you're uh, not thinking I'm a total lunatic. Um, to build on. So builders, what do they do? They often make houses. They're going to start with the foundations and then they're going to build the walls and the roof, etc. So to build on means we have had this success and we're going to use this and we're going to continue from there to make something even bigger. Okay, so we have a firm foundation and we're going to continue growing. To walk into something. So to walk into something means you enter it very easily. Yeah, I walked into an amazing job. I didn't even have to have an interview. I just knocked on the door and the man gave me the job. Or the woman gave me the job. Okay, to walk into something means to get something good with a minimum of effort. To catch up. There are a couple of different meanings of this. You can have to catch up in communication where you talk to an old friend who you haven't spoken to for a long time, but this is to do with success and failure. So we've got a race, yep. Yeah? We've got the, the tortoise and the hare. The hare goes really, really fast and then falls asleep and the tortoise catches up with the hare. So 
the progress is caught up, catches up, to keep up. Um, so again, you, you could think of a race. You've got people going round the 400 metre track and you've got uh, this really fast person and this one, can they keep up with the really fast person? Okay, if I say it doesn't have to be physical though, I could say in a class, keep up, yep, means, you know, listen, make sure that you're paying attention. Okay, to capitalize on. So capital is really money. So if I capitalize, then I'm sort of making it into money, which in a wider meaning means that I'm getting some benefit from. So if you want to capitalize from this lesson, you're going to need to actually use some of these words with the people that you know, okay? Cement the learning. To lose out to. Uh, New Zealand lost out to England in the Rugby World Cup semi-final. So they lost out too. It means both teams were trying to get to the final, but you know New Zealand weren't quite at that st same standard as England. Ha 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 ha. So um, they didn't get the same kind of prize that England did. To stay ahead. Um, maybe thinking of driving a car. You know, staying ahead means you're in front, okay? So if you stay ahead of the competition, then you're bigger and you're um, continuing to be dominating that market. So as I said at the beginning, we're now going to try and use some of these talking about these uh, different areas of modern life. So let's go for fashion. Now, which of these can I talk about with fashion? Yeah, to bring something off. Yeah, you really brought that off. Um, to pull something off, to carry something off, to come off. Um, something takes off to pay off. Okay, so fashion to bring, yeah, you really brought that off, pull something off. So pull something off, we're talking about something being successful. Um, so maybe I'm wearing, actually I'm making um, a video later today where I'm gonna be dressed up as, as, as a woman. Um, so I've been busy preparing for that all day. Uh, if I pull that off successfully, then I will look like a woman. It will be believable. You're going to have to watch this video now, aren't you? Right. Um, if I carry it off, then you're going to say, meaning you're going to believe that Benjamin looks like a woman. Um, don't say that. Look, I've even got facial hair. Come on. I'm a man. Um, if something takes off, then it becomes popular. So fashion. Um, Maybe if I start walking around with stripy socks and it takes off, then everyone starts wearing stripy socks. Um, okay. Doesn't really work with through these ones, unless you're talking about the business aspect of fashion. Um, yeah, a sales deal, a sales deal sailed through, but this is more sort of the business area. Uh, to catch on, a fashion catches on. Um, and then to capitalize on, again, sort of more sort of business related, as would be to stay ahead and to lose out to, talking about kind of competition. Sports. Um, they carried it off excellently. England carried off their game plan exceptionally well. Um, their hard work paid off. 
they got through the game successfully. Um, they sailed through to the World Cup final. Um, they built on their hard work. They capitalized on New Zealand's mistakes. Okay. Um, okay. And what about studies? Yeah, I pulled it off. I got an A. Um, my hard work has paid off. Or I muddled my way through university it means I did a little bit of work, I did a little bit of that. I wasn't very concentrated, but I got through it. I got to the end. Um, I managed to walk into a job after my studies. Um, I caught up with my friends by doing some revision. Um, you could say I lost out on, I lost out on getting a first class degree, um, which was a mistake. Okay, fine. Um, so the more familiar you get with these phrasal verbs, the better. Look out for them in the things you're going to read and listen to and just try and expand your vocab. Thanks for watching. Any questions, write them down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.